Yo, what is going on guys? Tony here, coming back with another video. This time, this has been requested for probably the past week, week and a half since it was announced, to do an updated Kensei Guide tutorial moveset strategy extravaganza after the patch came out, and that's exactly what we're going to do today. Having played a few games myself, and yesterday being one of the only moments I actually had a little bit of joy playing this game, I'm actually really happy to make this. So, first off, if you guys didn't watch that video or haven't heard, the new buff with Kensei is essentially, it's going to be hard to put this on the, the level 1 bot, or the level 0, but basically, his moves, the Helm Strike and the Swift Strike, which can be either side, are now uninterruptible, meaning on block you can continue to chain your combos off, which is really, really sweet. And this doesn't apply to superior blocking though, so if an enemy is able to superior block you, they will obviously be able to interrupt your stance. So it's still uninterruptible, but superior block, I guess, is greater than all. And obviously, parries are still there. And in addition, the one last little thing is they reduce the recovery time from 900 milliseconds to 800 milliseconds on the Swift Strike if it is blocked. So that's pretty much it. So one-tenth of a second. Now, after my initial playthrough of this, I can tell that it does help you quite a bit because you're able to start getting those mix-ups in there with Kensei. You know, before you would, uh, you know, go in there, doing just a swift strike generally is really risky. Helm splitters are a little less risky, but they can be pretty telegraphed if you are doing them over and over again. But now, if you got a turtle player who's not really doing anything, you might be able to just get away with throwing one of these out and then going into some sort of combo chain like that. So, the play style that I think is good is, is relatively the same. Now, what I just like to think about it is that you just have more mix-up uh, opportunities. I still think you need to play the same with Kensei. I think Kensei thrives more if you're playing aggressive, and with this new buff, if you were playing defensive before, I would strongly recommend playing a bit more aggressive. So still poking out with light attacks, uh, you know, doing the light, faint, light combo, still very good, but if, you know, you're just going back and you, instead of uh, poking with a side light, you can poke now with the with the Helm Splitter or the Swift Strike, the Swift Strike still do not recommend. It is really, really damn uh, slow, and it's going to get parried pretty much. So that is that is something yeah, you don't want to throw out too much unless it's a dodge move. And even with the Swift Strike before, sometimes if you dodge like late, but you still dodge their attacks, your attack would sometimes get blocked. I'm not too sure what the deal with that is. I don't know if it's because that the way their guard stance was before the attack went off or something. But with that, it won't stop your chain anymore. You can continue to go with your chain. So I do recommend a more aggressive play style, not necessarily keep throwing out the same moves and whatnot. You can still, you know, get your own moves from doing things that I've mentioned in previous videos like parry baits or, you know, getting parries yourself into into guard breaks and like that. That's still still just as effective. Just this gives us more of an opportunity to open up turtles. And that was the main thing that they were trying to address with this. So you got to you know, a Conqueror or Warlord who's not attacking, you can throw in an attack, not feel as bad if they're not parrying your attacks, really, and then be able to go into a combo chain. So it actually looks really, really nice for Kensei, but still not at the spot where he needs to be. I think he's middle, lower tier still, if you're playing against good players, which I most of the player base is now, since there's not a huge player base. It's a lot of people who grinded out the game. So just looking at the buff and with the uh, Helm Splitter, I'm going to show just two basic uh, things that I like to go into when actually performing with Kensei. So, I'm not going to show any mix-ups right here. I'm just going to show the straight attack. So, obviously, you have your Helm Splitter. You can go into your Unblockable. And, obviously, there's a wide, vari wide variety of mix-ups you can pull off from the Unblockable. Since that's Kensei's main tool is getting those Unblockable mix-ups off. But, it actually is really interesting to throw out side heavies now after. So you go in here, and then you throw out a side heavy. It actually is pretty deceiving. I'm not 100% sure if you can actually do, like, some sort of unlock tech with this. I'm sure you can. But, you know, I, I have no idea, honestly. So if you dash into here. Yeah, you can do something fucking crazy. I haven't tested it out, but that looked crazy just there. Like, you see that? You can you can do some crazy shit now just off of the, the helm splitter. I haven't, I haven't personally tested out uh, the analog sticks or rotations. Um, I don't know if it's like the same as the uh, the 720 spin. I'm, I'm assuming it is, but yeah, that's just something that you you can do as well uh, to get kind of like a weird mix-up chain going. And then there's always the whiff tech. So that's not whiff tech, but 
you know, this this shit. So there's always that too. So you do have a little bit more of a repertoire now with Kensei. So this play style should get you a decent amount of victories if you're able to still parry and not rely on these two moves now. Just keep using all of his moves as equally as possible. And now I'll actually get into some combos, some more advanced ones with the, the different moves and implementing a lot of the initiation tools with Swift Strike and uh, Helm Splitter. All right, everybody, the first combo that we're going to look for is the Helm Splitter into Unblockable. We're going to dash cancel into a guard break, get a side heavy, go into the unblockable again, cancel, and then top light. So I know that sounds like a lot. I'm going to put that on the screen so you guys can hopefully get a little bit better of an idea. And then I'll show it for you right here. So that's basically what it looks like right there. It takes a decent amount of stamina, obviously, you can see there. You pretty much have only time for that combo right there, but it's a really good combo, and you put a lot of mix-ups in there. Most people... Even if you faint your unblockable once or twice, they still parry it for some reason. Nobody really likes to do that. Um, so you can do, obviously, different variations of this. And I'll show a few of them here. I'll put up the directions as well. So instead of going for the, the guard break dash right there, we'll go into another helm splitter. And then a unblockable into the heavy cancel. So what that's going to look like is this. Something like that. So there is a lot of different things that you can do. If you're at full stamina, you can keep chaining these things into a into a combo right there. So the Helm Splitter is going to be a very essential initiation tool for you and something that's going to really benefit you to, to get good with. So this next string of combos is something I've been trying a little bit more recently. It's going to be a longer combo chain, really, and it's going to take possibly all of your stamina if you want to pull off the full one, and that is if all of your attacks hit so if some of them get blocked obviously your combo chain will get stopped again we're going to use the helm splitter as initiation we're not using the swift strike i only say to use the swift strike instinctively on the dodge if you're dodging a a large attack or a kick shove etc it's good to you know get out of the way and then start your combo chains from there but generally if i see this attack coming myself 99 percent of the time it's going to get parried it you can't feign it so it's you know it's there and it's it's very slow it's got a very long wind up time so for this move it's going to be a home splitter into an unblockable dash cancel into the guard break into a side heavy into a normal unblockable cancel into a guard break and then into a heavy and then after that you can go unblockable into the soft faint heavy which will use all of your stamina so that one's very risky or you can just do side heavy side heavy now i know this is a lot to say so i'm just going to show the first part of it and then i'll show the the two variations so what i mean is this then right here so at the end right there you see i just do a normal cancel of the of the unblockable instead of a dash cancel the dash cancels are kind of telegraphed if you do them often people can guard break you know just spam guard break counter and get out of it but a lot of the times if you know people see that you're not throwing your unblockables through they'll faint their top attack and then they won't be actually confirming it so you'll be able to get the normal cancel into a guard break so we'll show the first variation which uses all of your stamina so it's going to be right there into the cancel into the heavy and into here and then you do this and then you pull off one of the uh, uninterruptible heavies at the end right there but you did see it used all my stamina so if you get like parried right there at the end you're gonna get punished pretty hard but if you do get all of your attacks to go through it is a lot of damage now the second one is gonna be whoop sorry messed that up a little bit right here forgot what I was doing and then right here and then you can go heavy into heavy now with that you can do something along the lines of an unlock tech at the end even too so if you went in, dash canceled into here, into here, and then you did, you know, some, some sort of shit like that. That that's pretty fucking sweet looking. I would I would say does use almost all of your stamina, and it's very unlikely that your attacks will actually come through, like to get that whole combo chain off. But it has happened to me before where I able to string many many uh, combo chains together. So you guys can do some pretty cool shit now. Now, in addition to these, I'm not going to say every different combo mix-up variation because there's honestly so many different things that you can do. So, like I said earlier, 
don't forget about your your light combo chains specifically the top light faint top light so very very good and now whoa my game just shuddered right there what the hell was that that was that was weird but i think a ghost ran by my screen so yep like i said top light faint top light very good and now even the helm splitter into a heavy mixed up with unlock tech is also very good and i still think whiff tech is a an effective tool if you're able to get that first top light off to use but yeah these combos are very nice it feels like you have a little bit more control of the pacing of the game. You don't necessarily have to play as reactive as you used to. You can now be more of an aggressor, being that those those two uh, two initiation tools are now uninterruptible, which is very good. I do think Kensei is much stronger now. Um, if you guys have any other questions on combos or moves that you would like to see, please sure please be sure to put them down in the comments. I'll answer all your guys' questions. I love hearing the feedback and everything, and post some comments that you find or combos that you found effective as well if i missed some of them i just kind of sort of do an advanced one but kind of generalize it because you guys can do mix-ups in so many different ways you know you can you can helm splitter all freaking day if you want to you know you if you want to if you want to throw out you know five helm splitters in a row i've done it before i've done this before so do, do what you want to do, play around with it, you know, tell me what you guys think of the new buff. I think it's decent, I still think he's kind of lower middle of the tier. As I said, I know I'm rambling, I do that a lot, I, I can't help it, I'm really bad at getting my point across. But if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, my name is Tony, and I will talk to you in the next video. Peace.